We're on page 32 at the top of the page where it says strum pattern 3. And this is an opportunity to learn a new style of strumming. It's used in many different kinds of music, bluegrass music, country music, gospel music, Cajun music. It's so versatile you can even use it in rap. You just find out as you play it that it's, it's usable in many different kinds of music and genres. Uh, the deal is for me, as I started learning this strum pattern, it was easier to use my thumb than a pick because I could feel which string I was plucking for the bass note. With the bass strum pattern, you're, you're plucking a bass note and then strumming through the chord. That's the idea, plucking a bass note, strumming through the chord in various different rhythm patterns. To practice, we're going to, we're going to use track 33. Track 33 gives you a chance to go through a simple um, changing of the C chord to the G7 chord. So make sure you've worked on your C and your G7 today, that you've warmed up and that you can find those two chords, the C and the G7. And then try out this exercise at the top of page 32. Two, ready, go. One more time, track 33, the top of page 32 explains it, and you can play along with me. Two, ready, go. Mm -hmm. 